In this video, we'll do a couple of examples of calculations involving uh, pH and acid strength. So that could be Ka values or pKa values. In the first example, we'll calculate a pH of a solution that has a given pKa and a given concentration. In this case, we'll work out the pH of a two molar solution of formic acid whose pKa value is 3.74. So if we want to find a pH, that's represented by the H plus concentration at equilibrium. If we want to find the H plus concentration at equilibrium and we're given a weak acid, we'll have to solve an ice table to work that out. We have a weak acid, formic acid, dissociating to give H plus and the formate ion, and we need to set up our ice table. The structure of our ice table involves an initial concentration of formic acid, and prior to dissociation, the concentrations of H plus and formate are both zero. The stoichiometry dictates that the concentration of formic acid will go down by x, and the concentrations of H plus and formate will go up by x. And we need our H plus concentration at equilibrium if we're going to solve for a pH, and that means we need to have a K expression. We don't have a K value, but we do have a pKa. And remember that the pKa is just the negative log of the Ka. So we now have a value of Ka that we can plug into our K expression. So I've simplified our expression. I multiplied both x's together to give x squared, and I dropped the minus x term. And I can do this because our initial concentration is enormously larger than our Ka value. And we've solved for our x value, which is also our H plus at equilibrium value, and we found that the concentration is 0.019 molar. So from this, we can calculate our pH. and we can decide that our pH is now 1.72. In our second example, we'll be doing the same type of calculation, but in reverse. We're going to calculate a Ka from a pH and a concentration. So we have a one molar solution of propanoic acid that has a pH of 2.44. What is the Ka value for this acid? And structurally, this is going to be very, very similar to the last example. We'll need to set up an ice table in order to solve for our K value. So we have our ice table prepared, and the difference between this example and the last is that this time we know the H plus concentration at equilibrium because we know the pH. And that value is 0 0.0036 molar. And because we know that the value of x is constant for H plus and the propanoate ion, we know the equilibrium value for the propanoate ion as well. And we also know the equilibrium value for propanoic acid. This means that we can set up our K expression and solve for K. When you write the K expression and you include the equilibrium concentration for propanoic acid, 1.0 minus 0 0.0036 molar, within our level of significance, that value is effectively the same as the initial concentration, 1.0 molar.
When you solve that calculation, you find that the Ka value for propanoic acid is 1.3 times 10 to the minus 5.